going to talk about exfoliating your lips and the best way to do that is with a toothbrush. So right now I have a cup of water, my toothbrush, and a paper towel. And this is the Oral-B Pulsar, so all you do is press on the little plus sign and it turns on. Can you even see that moving? Yeah, you can. And then if you click on the minus, it turns it off. And it just has a battery that comes with it. And you just unscrew this and it has the battery in it. It's a triple A battery. And I wanted to talk about this toothbrush first real quick because I absolutely love it. And this just went on completely backwards. Oh no. Okay, oh well. Well, my bottom is backwards now. This is supposed to be the front and that's supposed to be the back. Oh well. Okay, so my favorite thing about this toothbrush is that um, the reason that they put, I don't know, somehow they genetically altered this thing so that as soon as the battery dies, you're supposed to throw the toothbrush out because that is when this section over here is all done being used. So it comes in a four pack, I guess. I guess you can get them like singly or something, but I get mine in a four pack and it comes with two different colors, like, or it comes two different, like two colors in the pack. This color and then a um, more greenish color. But I absolutely love these toothbrushes and I love the bristles and everything. So what you're going to want to do is just dip your toothbrush in your water. Obviously if you're at your sink then you don't need a cup of water. But since I am sitting here I can only demonstrate this way. And you're just going to turn on your toothbrush and brush it along your lips and it just exfoliates and takes off all the dead skin. <laughs> I have learned that um, you probably are going to need to exfoliate your lips more on the bottom because that's just, you know, what happens and it actually gets off just all kinds of things that you wouldn't even believe and you're going to really want to wash your toothbrush afterwards if you're going to use it for your teeth also. I normally exfoliate my lips after I brush my teeth and I've been pretty much doing it like every single um, time that I brush my teeth or really I normally just do it once a day to keep all the dead skin off of my lips. So now to the more healthy part. I know that that's also kind of keeping your, you know, lips really exfoliated, which is healthy too. Also, I've uh, heard that you can use Vaseline also when you exfoliate with your toothbrush, but I just feel like it's, I don't want like Vaseline all in my toothbrush if I'm going to also use it to brush my teeth. And if you are a little bit like weirded out by exploiting your lips and brushing your teeth with the same brush and obviously you can get like another one and just kind of have one for each. So I love this chapstick more than anything and it's the chapstick medicated lip balm and it kind of smells like, it smells medicated. It smells like Carmex or um, something else that just smells really but this makes your lips super smooth and so healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So that's how you can get your lips like super smooth and like kind of moist, but not like super moist, but they just, it keeps them like from getting dry and stuff. Okay. So now to our blushes part of the tutorial, um, I'm just going to be taking the CoverGirl Outlast lip stain. And this is in color 455, and it's just kind of a neutral color, and I absolutely love it. So, let's go ahead and put that on. Oh, and also, I find it helpful for you to put on some sort of lip balm that doesn't have any glitter or any, like, shimmer or anything to it before you add a lip stain because it just kind of helps get all over the lips and not just, like, if you don't have anything on your lips, then it kind of, like, goes into the lines and stuff. So, let's go ahead and put that on. <laughs> Also, something that I love about using lip balm with a lip stain is that it actually kind of makes your lips look like they're they're that kind of color. Um, the lip balm just makes the lip stain look so natural. Unless you're wearing like a super out there color, then obviously people are going to know that it's not your natural lip color. But I just feel like this could almost pull off as my natural lip color. So lastly, I'm just going to be using the Stila Lip Glaze, which these are my new favorites. I just absolutely love them. So you're just going to take the lid off, obviously, and um, I normally don't like these kind that you have to screw, but this one actually is very um, easy to use. So. Okay, so that 
is it and um I feel like it's just like this is my lip routine so hopefully you guys you know we'll try this out if you are really wanting your lips to be natural looking and smooth and healthy and I'm just like really obsessed with not having chap lips like I do not like chap lips I don't like looking at them I don't like having them I don't like feeling them I just like I really like moist soft lips so hopefully this uh, helped you guys and you know you guys will try this out so bye guys